Each year, millions of Americans decide to switch up what's in their driveway. But how do they know where to start? And what's the best way to conduct a test drive to make the right decision? In this video, we'll provide tips and advice for a proper test drive. No engineering degree required. Hi, I'm Yo Mary from Edmonds. Each year we painstakingly test and review hundreds of cars, trucks, and SUVs, while CarMax experts buy, sell, and appraise thousands and thousands. We are combining our car testing knowledge with their experience to help you make the right choice for your next car. If you like this video and want to see more CarMax videos like it, be sure to click like and subscribe. Now, if you want to read an in-depth article about the test drive process, click the link in the description below. Hey, I have great news about the first part. You're already doing it. Of course, the first part is research. Information is definitely your friend, so read, read, read. From there, think about what you need this vehicle for and what you plan to do. A car purchase is not a small thing. Make a list of body styles that will work for you and narrow it down to the models you like. A car is going to be a daily part of your life for years to come. So be sure you're clear on what's important to you. Make a checklist and compare it against each model you're looking at. Once you've narrowed it down to the models and trims that you're interested in, look around to see where they're available. For the purposes of this video, we selected a sedan and a pickup as examples of vehicle types that people commonly shop for. Your time is precious, so here's a pro tip. Most dealerships will make appointments so that you can see the cars in person. That way, they're ready as soon as you get there. Okay, so you made your list, you made your appointment, and now you're going to see a vehicle in person. Here's what to look for. First, is it the right size? Take a walk around and see if the car or truck is the size you thought it would be. Photos or video are one thing, and real life is another. Will it fit in your garage? And then you have to think about everyday stuff. Pop the trunk and check the cargo space. Does your gym bag fit in there? What about your kid's stroller? Bring it with you and make sure it fits. Drop the tailgate and check to see if it's damped, meaning whether it falls slowly or not. How useful is the bed? Are the tie downs easy to reach and is it easy to get in and out of the bed? Is towing part of your future? Look to make sure the specific vehicle you're looking at has a trailer pin connector and the plug is the one you need. If you're buying a used vehicle, consider the condition. Carefully check the vehicle all the way around you don't want any surprises once you get home. Are the tires in good condition? It's best to have a clear idea of what you're getting into. So be sure to have someone work the headlights, tail lights, brake lights. You get the idea. The first thing you want to know is whether it's easy to get in and out of. It's something you'll be doing thousands of times. Then adjust your seat. It might be power or manual, and see if it's easy to get comfortable. Adjust your mirrors, don't be shy. Pretend it's yours already. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to play with the climate controls. I mean, are they logically placed? Sometimes they are impossible to find and even harder to use. I mean, do you have to go through three menus to find what you're looking for? That would drive me crazy. If you're regularly traveling with passengers, check the back seats to make sure they're easy to get in and out of, and there's enough space. If there's a baby on board, make sure the latch system is easy to work with. And if you're like me, you'll want to turn up the tunes, because a stereo is an essential part of the daily commute, so make sure it's one you like. Okay, so now it's time to check out the technology. Let's start with the touchscreen. Go ahead and swipe, press, check out all of the menus. Are they responsive or do you need to press multiple times to get a response? I would also check out everything on the steering wheel. Go through all of the menus and see if you like the way they look and how they react. Something that a lot of people overlook is to actually put the car in reverse and check out that rear view camera. Well, if everything on the inside checks out, now it is time to go for a test drive.
Pay special attention to acceleration. Make sure that it's fast enough to get you up to speed whenever you need to and that it gives you power without any unsettling feelings or unsettling noises. Same with the transmission. It should shift smoothly without making you lose a lot of power. Handling and brakes are also very important. Now you probably don't need it to feel like a race car, but you want it to make you feel comfortable that you can make a turn or come to a complete stop whenever you need to. Check in with yourself. Are you comfortable? Does the ride feel good? And don't forget to think about the noise. You might get noise from the wind and road sometimes, but it shouldn't feel like you're in a wind tunnel. Now in a truck, things are a little different. You probably won't go as fast and you might feel transmission shifts a bit more. But does it feel like the truck is giving you what you need? It should. Ride comfort will also probably be a little bumpy and that's okay in a pickup. Just make sure it's not too much and you still feel stable and in control at all times. Same with the brakes. Give yourself plenty of room to slow down and stop. Lastly, always check your visibility. Think about how it'll be in parking lots and tight spaces. See how it is to turn in a tight circle and maneuver into a parking spot. So, how did that all feel? If it's what you expected, great. If not, it sounds like you have some new questions to consider. Yes, checking out cars can be exciting, but it never hurts to sleep on the decision. Be clear on what's important to you and make sure that the car that you test drive measures up. After all, you're looking for something that will keep you happy for miles and miles. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more CarMax videos like it, be sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to read an in-depth article about the test drive process, click the link in the description below.